really break down like an actionable plan, like so that it doesn't have to be an emotional investment in going after a goal or an income anymore. Like literally break it down to where he knows that all like it all comes down to door knocking or referrals. Sure. He, like he knocks twenty doors this many days in a row, and then yep. he will get his number. Okay. So I have to figure sit down and figure out what he hits. Oh, excuse me, on a daily basis. Yes. And then, then I can put a plan in place with him. Well, and have everybody, another huge thing that's going to be super important is having your guys log their stats. We need to know how many doors they're knocking and out of those doors, how many appointments they're getting. Out of those appointments they're getting, how many are going through, like they're actually not, it's not a no-show or a cancellation or whatever. Then from there, how many of those people are they signing? So now you know their percentages. So now you can just break it down to an actual action plan. Like, for example, let's say that Todd's knocking 20 doors five days a week, let's just say, which is totally reasonable. Um, that's 100 a doors, right? You can do 100 doors in a day. Sure. Well, you can, but it's like if... You don't want to. You don't want to, but if you want to make it like less shitty... or The whole point about it when you put together a plan for sales guys is make it very manageable so they're just like, oh... You know, like make it a no brainer, not like, okay, guys, we're going to go out there and we're going to knock a thousand doors this week and I'm holding you to it. Well, that just sounds shitty. And they're like, eh. So you want to just break it down to something that's totally manageable. Like if Todd does three inspections a day and he knocks three doors before his inspection and three doors after each of those, well, that's his 20 doors in a day right there. And it took nothing. Right. And... Those are easy to line up because he just got done doing an inspection. So it's like, hey, do you know Karen next door? And he probably asked Karen what the neighbor's names were. And now he can talk. Like, those should be super easy to line up. So now we're not just talking about numbers. We're talking about making it super, super efficient and effective. Because now he's got name dropping. It's time efficient. People are seeing him. And he's building that neighborhood. And that's how you own a neighborhood, too. So there's a million things we could talk about there, but I'll go back to the actual uh, planning so we can plan. Let's, okay, so let's say that he does 100 doors.